It's a frigid day. Ice covers the lakes on Belle Isle. The snow crunches underfoot as a small team walks towards the shoreline. With careful steps, they walk out onto the ice. They're wearing chest-high waders and layers of clothing to protect them against the elements. The team cuts a hole in the ice and pulls a small contraption out of the lake. Inside is a curious looking creature, a mud puppy. Mud puppies are fully aquatic, meaning they spend their entire lives underwater. They have lungs, but use their feathery red gills to gain oxygen from the water. They are found in rivers, lakes, and ponds throughout the Midwestern United States, including the Detroit River, and seem to prefer to hide under logs and rocks during the day. They eat aquatic insects, crayfish, and fish. Since 2009, the Detroit Zoological Society has conducted surveys to determine how many mud puppies are living in the waters around Belle Isle. These aquatic salamanders are considered a bio-indicator species, meaning they are very susceptible to any changes in the environment. Air and water move freely in and out of an amphibian's permeable skin. They are one of the first species to be affected by any pollution or toxins, increased sediment in the water, or even changes in temperature. Basically, if the water isn't clean, mud puppies can't survive. The mud puppy surveys help us determine how many are living in the area, which helps us understand the condition of the waterways. Mud puppy surveys are conducted weekly at two different sites. There are always at least two staff or volunteers who conduct the surveys due to the nature of the work in and around freezing bodies of water. Sometimes the team only collects water samples, which they process for water quality. Other times they set humane traps to try and capture mud puppies who are living under the ice. The traps are humane, meaning they don't harm the mud puppy. When traps are set, they are always checked the following day, ensuring that mud puppies aren't kept any longer than absolutely necessary. The traps are secured to the shoreline with tethers to make sure they don't float away in the water's current. The team will go to great lengths to make sure all the traps are recovered the next day. The team will chop through all of the ice so no animals are left trapped. If a mud puppy is found in one of the traps, the team will release it into a tub of water. The water keeps the mud puppy from freezing in cold temperatures and from overheating during warmer months. The team measures and weighs the mud puppy and takes photos. If the mud puppy is large enough, a small transponder is implanted in the side of the tail. The transponder will let the team know if the same individual is recaptured, helping with population counts. The team returns the mud puppy to the same area he or she was found as quickly as possible. If there's enough open water, a boroscope, or a plumber's camera, is used to look under rocks and logs submerged in the water. Using tools like this are non-invasive ways to learn about what else is living in the water. The Detroit Zoological Society supports and participates in conservation work on all seven continents. The work we do locally is critically important to understanding the relationship between natural and human-built environments and how our actions make a difference to all Earth's inhabitants. You can help mud puppies by ensuring our waterways are as clean as possible. Storm drains connect to our waterways. By keeping an eye out for debris near storm drains and disposing of it properly, you can help make sure it doesn't make its way to rivers and lakes. Remember, never pour any contaminants down storm drains. Amphibians everywhere are counting on us to protect their habitats. Join us in celebrating and saving wildlife.